Hello and welcome back to Hook Into Lifestyle. Debbie here. Today we are going to be crocheting a Minecraft FIFA blanket. I used a knitting pattern that I found online and I will link that down below and it just helped me put it together when it came down to sewing the blocks. Here's an example of one of the pictures I used from the pattern. I also just did two rounds of single crochet going around for the border and I added three single crochet to the um, corners. So let's get started. The materials needed for the Minecraft blanket are loops and threads, impeccable yarn, and you can pick this yarn up at Michael's. I will list all the different colors in the pattern and exactly how much yarn you will need. And I'm also going to be using an eye hook, 5.5 millimeters. You will need a tapestry needle and some craft scissors. To begin the block, the first block, I'm going to be using, what color is this? This is the fern. Fern color. And I'm going to start with a, with a chain of 27. And I'm going to double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. So you count one, two, three, and four, and you turn it and you insert your hook into that back bump there to make a double crochet. You have two double crochets and then just keep going to the end and it will leave you with 25 double crochet in total. Alright, so here I have my 25 double crochet. I'm going to count them. That chain that we began with will be the first double crochet. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. And then to continue, all you have to do is turn your work, chain up 3, double crochet into that next space. Do not double crochet into that same space as the chain three. Move on to the next space available and make your double crochet there and continue to double crochet all the way to the end. And this is basically the pattern. And when you get to the beginning chain three, don't forget to put a double crochet into the top of that chain three which is our first double crochet. So make a double crochet right at the top for a total of 25 double crochets. And you will continue to do this until you have a total of 16 rounds. And when I have my 16 rounds, I will come back and, sh and show you the last step in our block. You can always make this smaller. You can start with less chains and make the block smaller doesn't have to be this big. I made it big enough to lay on his twin size bed. So continue all the way across till you get to that last space and make sure you put that double crochet in there. Because if not, your square won't look right. It will be off by one stitch as you go along. So make sure you put it in there. I'm getting close to there. As you can see, some people make the mistake and do not think that this is a, uh, an actual um, stitch or a double crochet, which is a double crochet and I am going to double crochet right into the top of that chain three space and that's how your work should look. Turn and continue. So I did my 16 rows. I'm just going to count with you so you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16. That's what your block should look like. And now I'm going to turn my work. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to single crochet across and it's going to be a total of 25 single crochets this way. So we want to do 25 going down this way and then 25 on the bottom of the squ of the, the block and 25 on the other side. So chain one and then single crochet across for 25 total. And the reason why I didn't put um two single crochet or three single crochet in the corner is because I want the um well because we're gonna be joining them together to create the creeper and it won't look right if we have too many stitches on the corners. So to go around you it'll be evenly a hundred um single crochets all around. And then to get it evenly around the sides where the stitches are, I'm going to show you what I did in just a few seconds. Put my last single crochet member into that chain three space at the top. That's 25 total cross. We turn our work and we're going to insert our first single crochet into the space right here. Our second, we're going to put it in here, into this space right here. So that's two. Next in there, three. Next one in here, in this space, just four. Next one in there, five. Next one in here, six. Next one's going to go in here for seven. And now, we're going to skip these here for a total until we get to, um, until we have 13 single crochet. So we're going to skip this here and we're just going to go straight into the stitch. So eight, skip, nine, skip, 10, skip, 11, skip, 12, skip that one and 13. Right? And now we're gonna do the 14th right into that space. That's 14, 15, 16 into that space, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Okay, right. stretch it out a little bit, and you have 25 going across here. We turn our work, and we're going to put our 25 here, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side of the square. And Don't forget to put that up, that single crochet into that chain three space, the top of that chain three space, and then turn your work. And we're gonna work across this side of the block. We're gonna put our first single crochet in here. That's one. Our second, we're gonna insert it in, not this space here, but try to squeeze it in here. So that'll be two. The third one right in here into this space right here. It's three. Four into this space right here. Fifth one. Again, try to squeeze it in here for the six. And then seven. We're gonna skip that little space and we're gonna go into the next one for eight. Skip that and then nine. Skip 10, skip 11, 
skip 12, skip 13 right in there. Then we're going to go back into the little spaces. 1, I mean 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Just do it as best you can and just space it out the best way you think is, whichever way you think is best for you. This is how I found it easy for myself as I was making the squares. Then I slip stitch into that first single crochet and cast off there. Cut your yarn, pull it through, and your square is done. Okay. Now we're going to sew them together. All right, now I'm going to show you how to sew two squares together. This is the right side of the squares, and I have them both like this. Now you can use, to make your, your work look neat, you can use either color. You can use this color or this color to join them together. So when the blanket is laid out and the seam is showing, it looks, you know, it's blending correctly because it's the, it's the if you do this with black, it's not going to look right. Now, if you have, when you have the two black squares, when you have to join these two black squares, then you use black. Okay? So, all I'm going to do is the same thing I did with my, um, with my, um, the star afghan I made. I'm going to sew it the same exact way. So, I'm going to take a piece of yarn. I'm going to cut. And then join it to my tapestry needle. And I'm going to take this square and I'm going to turn it over on top of the other square so I can sew both pieces together. And I'm going to go in through the back loops only. So I'll take my tapestry needle and I insert it through this back loop of my first square, which is right here. Hope you can see that. And then through this back loop of this square. Pull it together and then bring it over and do it again. Back loop, back loop and pull it through. Back loop and back loop and pull it through. And just continue to join them I like to join um, by rows, so I'll join the first row, the second row, the third row, and, and so on. And then once I have all those joined, then I, I join those rows together. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> but let me show you. So I have here one of my rows already sewed together. This is one row. Once I have all of them joined like this, then I'll join this with the next um, row, and so on. 